Hello everybody, this is Coding Procedures with Pedro Pablo and today I have a posterior, posterior cervical fusion that I would like to explain to you. Okay, let's read the body of the report. The patient was brought to operating room and anesthesia was administered by the anesthesia team. The patient was turned prone, so the patient is facing down. You already know that the approach the approach is going to be from behind, going to be from the back. All right, the surgery started by making a decision. So the approach is open, all right, because they make a decision with a number 10 blade. They use a number 10 blade to make a decision. Okay, they place the retractors and they continue the dissection, exposing the spinal process. Spinal process. This is a bone from the vertebra, the back of the vertebra. All right. These are the level: cervical five, cervical six, C five, C six. That's one level, one joint. C six, C seven. Another joint. Another level, and C seven, T one. That's another joint. So we have three joints, three level. Right? Two cervical, one cervical thoracic. Alright, we continue reading. After that, we fluoro. Uh, the fluoro guidance, anatomical normal, we place a lot. Okay, they place the screw right here. Again, a screw, they have to bring the spinal cord to its original position. To perform any 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 repair or any procedure, they need the original position. That the purpose of the screw and the purpose of the fixation. This is not open reaction internal fixation. They they're not doing any repair. They they just have to stable stabilize the spinal cord. So pedicle screws were placed successfully. Okay, all the screw were placed successfully. Uh, we then continue reading, we then proceed with using the high drill right on the, the dissection of, on the fluoroscopic guidance and then they completed a laminectomy. All this is approach, right? They have to do this to do the fusion. This catomy not done this time. This is posterior, posterior to spinal cord, right? C5, C6, C6, C7, and C7, T1. Okay, the, the, the continue reading. The calcified uh, 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 ligament was removed, and uh, and the foramina was opened bilaterally to ensure to ensure the decompression. All right. Okay, after the decompression was completed, allograph and autograph. Enhanced fusion was done using the patient's own localized bond. So this is autologous and DBM bone matrix. This is non-autologous. So we have posterior, posterior of the C5 and C6 and C6 and C7 with autologous tissue. And then we have the C7 T1 posterior posterior also with autologous tissue they use autologous and non-autologous autograph and allograph on all the levels but remember ICD-10 PCS ICD-10 PCS guideline with autograph is used with I mean with uh, uh, allograph or autograph with allograph we use autograph only with autologo, non autologos, we use autologos only. No interbody fusion device was used in this procedure. So these are the codes. We have we have a posterior, posterior fusion, two levels, C5, C6, C6, C7, two levels of the cervical vertebra, two joints with autologo tissue. And we have posterior, posterior fusion cervical thoracic autologous tissue too 
C7T1, which is cervical thoracic. All right, uh, that's it. That's it for this procedure. Thank you very much for watching my video. I'm subscribed. Subscribe because I'm going to bring all type of procedure. This is fusion only, but I'm going to add all the procedures performed in inpatient facilities. All right, subscribe, like it, and see you in my next video. Thank you very much.